guys, welcome back to For He Who Is Mighty. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're, if you're not new here, welcome back. I want to first address the elephant in the room. I missed a week last week, you guys. I didn't upload. And for me, I feel like I'm a very like disciplined and organized person. And when I set my mind to something, <sighs> I like set my mind to it. I'm like, you're all in. You're either in or out. And I'm usually the one like, okay, if I'm doing this, I'm all in. And I felt so bad. I think this is my second time not uploading something since starting this YouTube channel. So I felt horrible. I didn't post anything on Instagram. I just didn't. I just didn't. And I felt horrible. So I am here to talk about what happened. And I'm here to bring you along my next days. Because I feel like I was in a really tough, like season the past two weeks i'm way better now thank the lord jesus christ but the past two weeks i was very anxious very stressed out school was hard life is just hard let's just put it that way and i don't like putting excuses but that's just the reality of it molly that's just the reality of it and um yeah it's just it was just really hard and so I didn't, I actually filmed the video I was anticipating on putting up. I just didn't get to editing it. And I, I needed to edit it because it was, it was a chit chat talking video about developmental stages of children and what they go through. David's calling me, hold up. Okay, I'm back. Anyways, so with all that to say, I'm back and I found that the reason why I was such in such a difficult season of life was because I did nothing with my mental health. I did not take care of my mental health. I didn't prioritize myself in a way of like edifying myself and resting and um, just caring for myself like physically, emotionally, spiritually, all the things were off. It sucked. It was really hard because I was pouring, pouring, pouring into so many different things, like just, you know, and all the different hats that I wear that I forgot to like take care of myself and that just was bad. So I've been on this journey this past week. I just started summer semester and I was like, I am not going to start the semester with the anxiety, with the stress. I was so stressed out, you guys, that I honestly think I gave myself a stomach ulcer. Because I was in really, really bad abdominal pain. Like, really bad. And I, it wasn't what I ate. It wasn't, like, constipation. Like, it wasn't any of that. And I really think it was a stomach ulcer type thing. It was really bad pain. I've never felt it before. But with all that to say, I was like, I'm not going to start this summer semester being stressed, being anxious. That's not going to happen. So I really wanted to take care of my mental health. I started reading a devotional book that's going to help me like read my Bible because guess how many times I read my Bible? Not a lot because I was prioritizing other things than my spiritual walk with the Lord. And then so I started incorporating that. I started incorporating working out again because guess who didn't go to the gym for like two or three weeks straight? This girl. Um, I didn't put time into that. I was eating horrible. We were eating maybe like every day. Not every day, but just a lot we were eating out a lot and it was horrible because there was zero nutrients going into my body i was barely drinking water like the bare minimum i was barely getting any sleep because i was staying up doing homework or i would wake up early and do homework and i was just not getting enough sleep or rest and it was just like not healthy guys and so i've been on this journey this past week of like I'm drinking water. I tried exercising this past week. I did it three times, which that's a good accomplishment. We've been, we're still eating out more. So I'm gonna go grocery shopping with KDF today. We're going to the gym and then we're going grocery shopping. I've been trying to read my Bible more. Did I say that? I don't know. I cleaned my room. That was something that was just like, I don't have time to clean my room. I don't have time. I don't have any time. And I made that a priority this week. So we cleaned up a little bit. Moral of the story, you guys, I've been absent because stress and life, but there are things that help make life less chaotic. And the number one thing is Jesus, 100% Jesus. 
other things are your physical, your emotional, your mental, like all these things factor into the way you feel and the way you act. And I was mean during those two weeks. I was very mean. I didn't want to be mean anymore. So I was like, let's get our act together. And here we are getting our act together. So come with me on this getting my act together video. Um, I will try to highlight different things that I am doing today and tomorrow. And we'll get to it, you guys. Take care of yourself. You only have one life. YOLO. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Bye. Y'all, Karen picked me up and we're like, okay, we're gonna, you know, meal prep and everything. And look what she's eating. Did I get a little pre workout? You know, you have to get energy somehow. It was too late to drink pre workout. Help, you guys. We're trying to do this healthy lifestyle. It's fine, it's fine. Whatever works. <laughs> we made it to the gym and I hate stretching. So Karen's gonna stretch. Karen should make a YouTube channel. <laughs> Leave it down below in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Drama. Okay, not for reals. Look who we found at the gym. <laughs> and there's Gotti. And then there's Gotti. <laughs> This is the best, curious? best bar. I think they probably, it's they probably so like good. Curious. Imagine, that's what I'm saying. I never had those. They just make sense. There's two ingredients. Must get always. Huh? Yeah. No more sugar. Help. So one thing that I love that my cousin introduced me to is these Oreo like croissants. I don't know what the heck they are. I don't know where he learned it from, but I think I should have showed you the label. Okay, so you get these. Sorry, I already ripped it, but these ones with Oreos and an air fryer. That's all you need. Here's my giant air fryer. Okay. This is what you do. Let me open this. Whoa. Kevin unroll this. Okay. Unroll it. You grab an Oreo, put it inside, and just roll it up like that. Put it in the air fryer. Do that a couple times. Okay. 
Okay, I'm just gonna do four at a time. Cause only four fit in mine. In my air dryer. Isn't it an air dryer? What is it? <laughs> air fryer. <laughs> Did I say air dryer? Probably. Okay. I have a mess. Then, here's what they look like. Let's close it up. On. Crap, I, do you remember the temperature we have to leave it on, Ashley? For eight minutes? I think so. And it's going. And you just wait. Okay, so I took them out of the air fryer. I forgot to vlog taking them out, but here they are in all their glory, and they are so good. You guys, look at this. It's so good. It takes two seconds. <laughs>